Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a casual vlog style video of how I completed my brand new kitchen, how I organized and displayed everything. So I wanted to share that with you because I'm really excited about it and I love these types of organization unpacking type videos. I'm extremely happy with how my kitchen turned out and I hope you guys enjoy this type of a video. Let me know if you want to see other videos like this because I have other rooms in this suite that are not complete yet. So if you want to see some more of the decorating and organizing parts of those rooms, then definitely let me know. I also will be filming a tour of my new studio as well. Once I do get that finished, there are some things that I just want to finish up before I actually film that video. But until then, we have this video where I am unpacking and organizing my brand new kitchen. So if you wanna see how I did that, then just keep watching. So I have finally finished the kitchen and I'm really, really happy with how it looks. I will be giving you a tour of the kitchen and just kind of explaining 
how we did everything I guess because some of it was a bit of a DIY and just some ways that I decided to organize all of my dishes and glasses and all the other kitchen things that I have. Okay, let's get started with the tour. Let me turn on these lights so you can kind of get a feel for how the whole kitchen looks. This is a temporary plumbing line that still needs to be moved but can't be moved yet so it's just kind of chilling there for now. But everything else is complete in here and I'm obsessed with how it turned out. I love this light fixture. It matches with the whole vibe of the kitchen and like the kind of black hardware but first I just want to tell you guys where everything is from so the kitchen cabinets as well as the countertops are from Ikea the sink is from Ikea the faucet I think is from Lowe's if I can find the brand of the faucet I will list it in the description box my dishwasher microwave and fridge is all from hair I think I don't have anything in the fridge yet except for like a couple of random things like kombucha I love kombucha but that's the brand hair I think that's how you pronounce it I'm not really sure but that's where the appliances are from the stove is a 20 inch no 28 inch stove from GE we had to do a smaller stove because of some plumbing things that were in the way behind as well as a smaller dishwasher but honestly I've had a smaller dishwasher in the past for a little bit of time and I actually really didn't mind it so I'm totally okay with it. We got the floor tiles I believe from Home Depot. They are hexagon tiles. This rug I actually just got yesterday from Winner's Home Sense and I do still need to get another rug for in front of the sink or like a little mat. For everything else, I think I'll start with the shelves. So these shelves are acacia wood and they're actually stair treads from Rona. So if you can actually do this if you go to a hardware store. I love the style of acacia wood. It has a lot of color and grain variation. It looks really, really pretty. The brackets are just black brackets from Amazon and my dad actually just cut the stair treads to size so that they would be like the perfect size to fit in these sections here and on top of the shelves I obviously just displayed some of my cuter glassware dishes I got these two dishes when I was in Mexico so I definitely wanted to display those and my coconut bowls I think from the brand called coconut bowls Yep, that's where they're from. I have some cute glasses up here, which I will use, but I just thought they were cute enough to actually like put out and display. Of course, I have a plant. I will be putting way more plants in here eventually. And then I have this little cocktail station. It's all copper. I think copper looks really good with the theme and the colors that I have going on in this kitchen. And we actually decided to do like a copper trim along the subway tiles. And that just kind of tied literally everything in together. It looks so nice. I have a lot of small appliances that have copper details as well, like the kettle up there. And my little, I almost call this a microwave, a toaster. And it's got like the little copper details as well. I thought that looked super cute and it definitely ties in with everything that we did in the kitchen. I also have my little KitchenAid mixer, some, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. It's just like a margarita glass and pitcher. I did have them up there, but my mom was like, they don't look good up there. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with those. I also just have a bunch of kitchen utensils here. And over here on the sink, we're actually gonna put in a beverage faucet. So a filtered water faucet, and it has a filter that goes underneath. We actually got the faucet and the filter on Amazon as well, so I can link those in the description box if you guys are curious about it. We've also got some empty decanters or canisters, whatever you want to call them, for flour, sugar, things like that. This is kind of my baking section, I guess, or station, so it'll be easy to grab things, use the rolling pin, and I actually got this from Canadian Superstore. They actually have so many cute kitchen things there. And this is just gonna be used for like rolling out dough. I also have my little empty napkin holder from Ikea. Thought that looked really good in here. Obviously everything's pretty empty right now because I haven't actually put anything in here. But let me show you what's inside. 
actually let's start here so this thing it's like a wine rack hanger <laughs> I don't even know what it's actually called but I did get this from Ikea and it just screws into the bottom of a cabinet so that you can hang wine glasses and I got these I was really into that like flat bottom look of wine glasses and I found these ones they're actually shorter stemmed and supposedly for water but I got these from my friend Kelly for Christmas. So I have like the normal size wine glasses. And then these are little pom-pom like wine glass identifiers if you have a bunch of people over, which obviously isn't gonna happen for a long time. But whenever that does happen, these are from Francesca's and it can just be used to help people remember what glass is theirs. Moving on to the glass cupboard. These cabinets are actually really high and I will need a step stool. I'm gonna get one of those collapsible step stools just to put like between there or between the wall and the fridge because I cannot reach up there. I have to like hold up my camera on a tripod all the way to the top, which honestly is fine for me. I just really like the look of the higher cabinets. So I was really happy with that. But this is where I decided to put all of my drinking glasses and mugs that will fit in there. I don't think I, well, actually I have a couple more, but I haven't found them yet. Up here is really cool. Since it's such a high cabinet, this one actually you press it and it just kind of lifts open, which is really, really convenient. As you can tell, this is where I will be keeping all of my alcohol. Some of these bottles have not even been opened yet. I have not been doing much this past year that will require alcohol. I don't really drink by myself, so it's been, unused for a long time but i'm excited to use it when i can finally have parties and people over to share the alcohol now above the fridge we have some smaller appliances like blenders mixers some more alcohol because that one the ciroc bottle is too tall to be in that cabinet so i just put it over here and we got like another outdoor pitcher mini mixer things like that perfect spot for all this stuff. Next to the stove is where I'm keeping my pots and pans and what are these called? Oven gloves? Sure. This one's really cute. It's actually from Kate Spade. It says eat cake for breakfast. <laughs> so cute. And then there's a secret little drawer up here which will have all of my spices. I need to get some, I'm gonna go to like Bulk Barn probably and get some spices to put in these. In the second drawer, we have the pots as well as the lids. The lid holder is from Ikea as well. And I do have some more pans somewhere and I don't know where they are. Everything has been packed in storage for a long time. So I need to actually find out wherever that stuff went. But for now, that's how this is being organized. Over here in the corner, we have a Lazy Susan, which also needs to be filled, but for now I have like storage, glass containers, some bakeware. Under here, I think I have two pans. Yeah, so there's like cast iron pans underneath the stove, but this is just where I'm keeping some of the other things like the Dutch oven and yeah, storage containers. For now, it will change a little bit, obviously, when I'm fully living down here. Underneath the sink is pretty self-explanatory, but I also don't really have anything in there because the plumbing is not hooked up yet, so I need to wait for that. This is another cabinet, which is pretty much empty. I have some more bakeware things down there for the moment, but I haven't put any food in these cabinets yet. And then there is, like, there's so much storage in this kitchen, it's amazing. I have a big cutting board down there empty Susan, empty, empty Susan, <laughs> empty lazy Susan. It's seriously huge though. Like I will not have a problem with storage space in this kitchen, that's for sure. Next we have our cutlery and other accessories. It is extremely gold. I got this set of gold cutlery from allmodern.com. I was actually looking for gold cutlery and it can be very expensive. Just cutlery in general is very expensive. But I found, so this is actually two sets. They were $18 each because someone had returned them. I don't know why, but it, it, they're like perfect. And it was only $18 for each of the packs. And then I also have things like measuring cups and measuring spoons in there. 
This is where I'm keeping my bowls. I've got some really cute bowls in there. These ones are all from Target and then the rest are from Ikea that I've had for a very long time. And down here is where I'm keeping plates. So this plate organizer is extendable so you can do different sized plates in them. I think this is the smaller one and that's the bigger one, but they are both from Ikea. Down here is where I'm keeping my metal straws and just reusable straws. It's just a little glass or ceramic jar maybe. I'm pretty sure that I got that one from Michaels. Over here is where I'm keeping baking sheets and like muffin tins, cutting boards. I got these drawer dividers from Ikea as well and they're very tall because this is a very deep drawer. And I'm also keeping mixing bowls in here as well. Like these things are so smart because it's really difficult to organize cutting boards and baking sheets because most of the time you would sit them like horizontally on top of each other, but this way you can actually like access everything, see where it is and just, you know, use it really easily. I'm always so out of breath when I do these types of videos. <laughs> so this last drawer here is where I'm keeping knives, cookie cutters, some baking and cooking things. This is kind of just a drawer of like other random things that I didn't really know where to put, but these knife organizers are also from Ikea. Oh my gosh, is that it? I think I've explained pretty much everything. That thing is gonna stay open until I find a stool to close it. But, oh, I don't think I mentioned where the actual pendant light is from. I believe we got it at Rona. They also have it on like Amazon, I think Home Depot, or maybe not Amazon. I think Wayfair has this one. So I will link that also in the description box below. The lights are LED vintage style light bulbs and we have it on a dimmer switch so we can actually you know change how bright we want these to be which is nice since the light bulbs are actually exposed but i really like the look of them and everything just works really nicely in here i'm really happy with how it turned out all right so that's everything for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching unpacking and organizing and a tour of my brand new kitchen i'm very very happy with it so thankful very excited to actually use it let me know if you like these types of videos and definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite part of this kitchen is and also let me know if you'd like to see the similar type of video but for different rooms in the suite and I will definitely do those too so I hope you enjoyed this video definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I will see you in my next video bye